Before we dig into this delicious chicken, I am going to sing happy birthday. And we all know that today, you're turning 17. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Alan. Happy birthday to you. Alan, would you like to make a wish before we eat the chicken? May this day get off to a good start, turning 17 years old. And even more, next school year, we're going to be seniors, and we'll be graduating from high school, even though we're doing independent study together instead of taking regular classes. That's right. We're class of 2025. Now, that being said, let's dig in and have some chicken. Well, well, well. If it isn't Alan and his friend from the big kid daycare. And who in the right mind would have a Thanksgiving turkey dinner in February? This is so lame. Besides, aren't you too old to be having a picnic? That is so for preschoolers. Come on, people your age eat in restaurants or in the dining room at home. No, we aren't too old to be having a picnic. It is a very popular thing to do, especially when the weather is nice. Really, then why do I see little kids having a picnic at school? But everyone else is eating in their homes or their offices while at work. For your information, I've seen high school picnics before. So no, it's not just in preschool through elementary school. You're clearly making this up. Because I only see little kids having a picnic. No wonder the two of you are ending up in the big kid daycare at school when the rest of us are able to take normal classes like everyone else. What did you learn from watching Coco Melon? Does mommy have to give you your oversized baby bottle? Hey, you stop talking like that about Alan. And you better leave us alone. We were about to celebrate his birthday by having chicken. And another thing, having a picnic to celebrate someone's birthday is for broke losers. If you want to be like us, you should go to fancy restaurants. That is better than having a picnic to celebrate your birthday. We're not going to waste our money going to fancy restaurants. We decided to have a picnic in the park, and we're just fine with that. You two are likely spending $100 at a fancy restaurant every single day. Maybe you two should get a job so that you can afford all of the nice stuff that we are getting every day, instead of eating in the park. I don't know how you are able to afford fancy restaurants every day, but I think you're using credit cards to get all of the fancy things. Nancy, are you thinking about what, what I'm thinking? What is it? Here, let me take this from you. Hey, what are you doing? That is our food, you know. Now that will teach these losers a big lesson they will never forget. I'm doing you a big favor. Give that back. Roger, what is wrong with you? Seriously, what in the world is going through your mind? Relax, Sarah. We were only doing you a favor. Seriously, you are so cheap. You're totally ruining the vibe. You know what? You guys just ruined Alan's birthday lunch. What makes you think you can treat us like this? Not anymore. Look, when was the last time you did something that requires hundreds of dollars? I want my lunch. 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 Look, see what you made my friend do. And for your information, he behaves like this sometimes because he has autism. Alan, don't you worry, I'm going to make this up to you, I promise. Roger, Nancy, we are going to report both of you to the principal's office when we go back to school on Monday. You two are pathetic. 
Not only you are cheap, you also take care of this man child in the school's playpen. Also, it would be fun to see him in next year's Daytona 500 because of the way he cries. Both of you, that is enough. We're going to leave the park now. Surely they need to be in preschool. And I wouldn't be surprised if they watch Coco Melon all day long. I know, right? No wonder they don't have money to spend on the nice things that the world has to offer. I can't believe this just happened. They threw away our food, and now we don't have anything to eat right now. I know, right? That was very insane. You know what? Who needs people like that going to our school? We sure don't. Number one, if they don't leave us alone, even outside of school, then we will have to report them to the principal. And number two, if they continue spending money they don't have, then eventually they're going to be in a lot of debt. I can't believe how ungrateful they were of us to throw away their picnic lunch. All we were trying to do was help them. They have this silly idea that saving is a good idea. No, 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 no. What's wrong, Roger? This can't be real. I don't know what is going on, but I have a negative balance in my bank account. Well, can't you take out a loan to pay off the debt? I mean, we could but we don't have any money to pay it back. I was spending it on all of these fancy dinners. So, does this mean we won't be able to show off any more nice things to our friends? That's exactly what's going to happen if we don't pay off this negative balance. <coughs> Roger, Nancy, what do you have to say for yourselves? I can't believe that you continued to bother Alan and Sarah, even outside of school. And not only that, I overheard your conversation about a negative balance in your bank account. Be quiet, you two. That's none of your business. You guys are absolutely pathetic, because you don't want to enjoy nice things. Roger, enough. I don't want to hear a word from you. Moving on, I've told you and Nancy numerous times to leave Alan alone, but you never listened to me. For this, I am going to have to transfer both of you to the special school. No, Alan needs to be at the special school because he likes Coco Melon, and he has to spend all day in the school playpen like a big baby, and his daycare friend Sarah has to take care of him. That's enough. I said I don't want to hear a word from either of you, and Alan has autism and he is happy with being in the quiet room. Now, I am going to dispatch a school bus to take you over to the special school. Also, the special school is where a lot of troublemakers end up getting sent so that they can learn not to misbehave as much anymore. I'm even calling your parents. Roger, what in the world is wrong with you? We can't believe that you and Nancy ruined Alan's birthday picnic at the park, took away his food, threw it away. And even worse, you have a negative balance in your bank account for spending hundreds of dollars at fancy restaurants. And now you're being sent to the special school. And thanks to you, we're going to have to sell some of our stuff just to pay off your debt. For this, you will be grounded for another month. And you're not going to have a bank account until you learn money management. Now go to your room and think about what you did. Nancy, what did we tell you about bothering Alan? We can't believe that you and Roger ruined his birthday picnic at the park and threw away his food. 
For this, you will be grounded for another month. You know the drill. Now go upstairs to your room, and think about what you did.